Hello viewers, welcome. In this video we'll be showing you a little more detail about the actual Android adware that we found in this Alps T950S and then going through steps to remove the adware. To recap for those who missed part 1, we identified the adware as a package named googlesearch.apk in the slash system slash app folder. This is not a package from Google despite the name. Next, what we are going to do is get a package dump to get more information about the adware before we remove it. What we've done is run the command pm dump and the package name, which is com.cz search, and we've got all this data. And we're going to scroll all the way back to the top of this dump and we're going to review the data to give you a better idea what this adware actually does on the tablet. So we're a little bit ways more to go. Let's just keep scrolling until we get to the top. We won't review all this data. We'll just go over the important details. And we're almost there. And here we are. At the very top of the PM dump, com.cz.search, we can take a look at this and scroll down as we review the data. Now, as we scroll down, we can see a lot of things. There seems to be a Android 3 Tycoon service, my service, at the top over here. In addition, it tells you, for example, that the package name is comcz.search and base directory system app Google Search APK data data comcz.search is the data dir. There's another service, com Android 3 Tycoon service ad service, and it's also from the same APK and same data directory. Let's scroll down some more and we g we want to get to some interesting data that may indicate what the app is doing so you can see it it tells you this is very interesting data over a 24 hour period it tells you how much time the service is using so you know it's using cpu uh cycles and uh, furthermore it's talking a little bit about what kind of memory possibly using so there's lots of information if you wanted to dig this a little further and understand what the actual adware is doing what I'm interested in finding is the data in terms of the permissions of this app so we'll be looking through that and it tells you here's the process for the ad service and if we scroll down some more I think we, we might find some other stuff and it tells you these are the two again the two named services my service and ad service and a lot of stats that are available here now here's some interesting information and this one talks about the activity resolver table it looks like this thing is somehow hooked into the global search as a filter for that and um, that could be part of the reason why it uh, they maybe have also named it as search. Now, the other thing is it's looking for data related to web search. Has something to do with the launcher. And a lot of things. It's listening for a whole kind, a bunch of different things. So. Um, it does things when boot is completed and uh, tells you a lot this this service is actually everywhere it's monitoring your uh, tablet and, and doing various things knows when the user is present so lots of information uh, you can get out of this dump of the package so the more you read it, probably the, you, the more word you get. Here's the piece that we were really interested in. The granted permissions to this Android Adware app. It can read external storage. It can write external storage. Access your Wi-Fi state. And it says access course location, which means it can get your GPS location. A rough idea. Get your contacts. Read your contacts. Kill the processes. Read your phone state. No, be notified when the boot is completed. Write settings access the internet, get your fine location, so that could be a privacy risk, access your call log, network state, check your history and bookmarks, wow, that's pretty, pretty big invasion of privacy, 
So that's a pretty big reason why you probably should remove this AdWare app because it's doing so much that um, probably give you a very bad feeling. As we scroll down more, there's there's some other information. It keeps track of um, times when the uh, AdWare has woken up. Uh, probably not nothing else that we're interested at this point. So we'll just scroll down some more, and now we reach the bottom. If you recall in our previous video, we actually ran the kill command to kill the process for this AdWare. But now we want to actually di disable this AdWare from running. So to disable, we can run a special command, PM, disable, and then the package name. So I'll be doing this right now. So I want to disable this AdWare from running any further on this tablet. And you can do this. Simple command, PM, disable, com, cz search, And when you run it, it says disabled. And so the package will no longer start up automatically and will not run until it's re-enabled. It's, it's almost the same as hopping into the app manager and actually disabling that app, except we do not see it in the app manager. Next, what we're going to do is try to clear the data that is used by this AdWare app. And we'll do that first by taking a look at the folder with the data and showing you what data is present in the folder and then we'll run a command to clear the data and you can see there's quite a few files here there's cache database files and all kinds of stuff and we're going to run this pm clear and the package name in this case is com.cd.search and it says success indicating the data is cleared from our tablet and if we list it the only thing we see is the lib uh, folder or the actually the lib soft link next we'll try to show you how you cannot remove a package that is a system package if we ran pm uninstall on the package name you'll see that it actually returns with a failure because problem is the system folder is actually mounted as a read-only file system you cannot actually remove it with the PM uninstall. And to further prove our point that it cannot be removed, let's actually show you where again the app is actually located in system app. And once we list out the file, you'll see that it is in the system app folder. And system app is a special folder in Android where it's meant to be installed from the manufacturer. Now, if we were just trying to remove a file like we typically do in a Linux file system, and we'll try doing it here, you'll see that the remove command actually fails, and it will tell you the file system is a read-only file system. Let's run that command over here, pretend we did not know, and it tells you right here, remove fail for Google search.abk read-only file system. To remount the file system as rewritable, we need to know how the file system is mounted. So we need to type the mount command and the Linux system will show you how it's mounted. And if you look near the center of the screen, it says slash EMMC at Android space slash system ext4 RO, RO means read only. That is the mount, mount device and mount point. Now that we have this information on how to mount the file system, let's remount it as rewritable. We type mount minus O, which is an option. Rewrite, which is RW, comma remount, is a remount option. Minus T is the type. And slash EMMC at Android is the device. And slash system is the mount point. And when we hit enter, this will remount the file system as rewritable. When it's rewritable, we can do anything to remove the package. So let's hit enter and we see mount command executed successfully. Let's actually type mount and let's look at the line above. It says slash emmc at android slash system ext4 and this is rw saying rewritable. It's now mounted in rewritable mode so now 
were able to remove the package. Before removing the file from the file system, we've actually tried doing this with the pm uninstall command, but it will not work for system apps. So we'll just first show you again the package, Google search the APK, it's on the file system. We'll run the remove command and try to remove the file from the file system. RM and Google search that APK and we'll try to remove it as like a normal Linux file from the file system and the file should be removed from the file system. Next we'll actually relist the files with ls and see if Google search that APK is there and it shows that it is not there. It's actually not a good idea to leave the slash system folder mounted as rewritable as you use your tablet because other apps will be able to change the files in the slash system folder, which could be a major security risk. Now, if you were to think of remounting with the same approach and making it read only, it, this will fail because actually the system folder would be used by other apps and it says mount device or resource busy if we were even if we were to exit out of the system mount and we tried again it also fails the best way to actually do this remount is actually rebooting the tablet we can very simply reboot the tablet by hitting the back button and getting out of this terminal and getting back to the main screen once we're back at the main screen we can do everything we normally do for example look at the apps or in this case what we want to do is restart the tablet easiest way is hold down the power button for a few seconds and let's do that right now and it pops up this option to reboot and we'll just hit reboot and the tablet will take a few seconds to come back let's speed through this so you do not have to wait during the boot process now that the tablet is booted back up let's actually hop on to the tablet go back into our terminal and show you that the file system is mounted as read only again we simply type the mount command and it shows all the mount points and you can see it's near the center of the screen let me bring this up a little bit closer you can see that it says slash emmc at android slash system ext4 file system read only ro so it's mounted again read only state after restarting the tablet so there you have it how to actually remove the adware that came from the tablet a similar way you can use to actually remove the antutu benchmark also simply rm and the antutu benchmark apk and you can also remove the antutu benchmark if you want to Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.